here we go here we go welcome back to the channel welcome back to the channel don't forget to hit the like subscribe button like subscribe button tell a friend tell a friend so here we have another crazy story another crazy story little boosie little boosie little boosie start to become become confusing now for example for example he's a good rapper i listen to his music well not listen to his music like that but i heard a few of his songs before Main one I probably say I probably like, probably wipe me down. Have to admit, I'm not too much of a fan. The reason why, because I already know he's gonna be talking about. I already know he's gonna be talking about. You know, he's from the streets. He's gonna be talking about, you know, nothing but criminal activities, criminal lifestyle. That's all he's gonna talk about. I know that. I know that for certain. I'll be honest with you. I'll be honest with you. Once you're living a certain lifestyle, and once you're really living that lifestyle the real way, how you're supposed to be living it, it's very hard. It's so difficult, so difficult to leave your home without a firearm. Think about that. Think about that. Little Boosie. That's what he did. He went above and beyond to live a certain type of lifestyle where he has no choice right now but to Wherever he goes, he needs to always have a gun close by. He really does. Believe it or not, believe it or not, believe it or not, here's a side right here. Here's the unfortunate side right here that a lot of individuals, I mean, let me not say a lot of individuals, because a lot of individuals do indulge on what we really do occur in the lifestyle, in the lifestyle. Once in the lifestyle, they see you always keep a gun with you in the real lifestyle. Because you know, you already know how you get down and how you got down, if you know what I mean. You know, how you get down, how you got down. So based off of that right there, you know at all times you have to keep, you know, a pistol with you at all times because you know how things should go down. So this will happen with little Boosie right here. You know, little Boosie, he says he's from the streets. He's from Baton Rouge. You know he's a rapper. You know his real name is Torrance. Torrance Hatch. It's kind of similar to Terrence Gangster Williams, but his name is Torrance Hatch. But believe it or not, believe it or not, Lil Boosie, which is a real gangster, that's what he says, that's what he says. He has been indicted on gun charges for a 2003 arrest in San Diego. Think about that, think about that. This is brand new. He was, I believe, I could be wrong, I don't know. I don't, I'm not watching Lil Boosie 24 hours a day, you know, but I believe he just was caught with a gun You know, in um, send well in California at least. And I tell you, I told you, once in that life, you can't go outside without a gun. You to always have a gun with you because, I mean, I don't want to get too much in into it, but 
you're out there, you're committing crimes, you're separating mothers from their um from the children, from the child, you know, if you know what I mean, without getting too much in debt. You know, you're separating people from your family. You're living such an unproductive lifestyle. Such a bad lifestyle, yeah. So, at least, that's what he raps about. That's what he raps about. But Lil Boosie, last name is Hatchet. You know, he was arrested in June 2023. You know, 2023 on a felony on a felon on a felon in possession of a firearm. You know, a following a traffic stop. Think about that. As I said, once in that life, once in that life right there, you always want to keep a fight arm around you. But here's an in interesting thing right here about Lil Boosie. He's a rapper, but he's not a regular rapper. He's like a out there rapper, meaning he tells his life story to the public. He gossip about, you know, what's going on in his life or talk about it, not gossip, but talk about it. He shows what's going on in his life. He's not like a Gucci man or or Young Jeezy, for example, or a lot of other rappers. Now, right now, right now, what's right now? What's going on? What's going on? Little Boosie. Basically, he's gonna have to go back to court. But that's what happens in being a gangster in the streets. Being a gangster in the streets, at least these days, you have to do a lot of court time, a lot of jail time. That's what I'm trying to figure out why a little boosies is, you know, doing what he's doing. So basically what's going on, he's been re-indicted. But he, he's saying he's been re-indicted on, on the same stuff, but no. No, no it's not. It's brand new. Keep in mind he's always been a criminal. Hard to go anywhere without a weapon close to him. The lifestyle he developed over the years made that possible. But we're not going to get too much into that. Right now, we're going to say that for another video. Here we go, here we go. So basically, Lil Boosie right now, after getting away, getting off of this, you know, case he had a week later, a, a grand jury indicted him. New charges. Separate incidents. That took place in May 2023. It says separate. Brand new. He's going to have to go through the process again. Spend money. Naturally, he has money. He's shown that he has money. So he can spend that money. But they said according to indictments, Lil Boosie, again, I told you, these real criminals, they can't be far away from guns. So he's accused again of being around guns. Think about that. As a felon, And a drug user. Not only does he like to be around guns, but he likes to use drugs. 
That's what they're saying. In his in, in his indictment. They said his history go way back 2009. Convicted felon. I mean, it's crazy, you have to admit, because I thought a convicted felon wasn't supposed to be around any guns at all, any way, shape, or form. But I don't know. I mean, if you get security, they have the gun, does that count? I don't know, but I mean, I can still see the gun. I don't know how that works out. Because maybe convicted felon, you know what? I take that gun from that security, I, I snap his neck, oh, oh, to the left, oh, oh, to the right. I'm just talking, I'm just talking, talking, and I'm, I'm just making things up. But I'm just saying, a convicted felon being around a gun, I thought it was prohibited. prohibited. I don't know, but maybe it is. That's why I try to come down a little boosty right now. But that's how it is to be out there in the streets. You went out of your way to create enemies or did bad things in your life, and you don't want the same thing to happen to you. So you always need the individuals around you have guns. I don't know, but that's a little boost he said. He said, you know what? I always have a fall guy around me. I always have a guy with a gun around me. He's a felon saying those words. As a felon, believe it or not, there's certain words you're not supposed to use out of your mouth because they could probably use that against you. Not even just that, but it just sounds bad. You want to come come off as a tough guy, a criminal, mafia, boss type figure. And you're really just a good boy. You don't want to go back behind the bars. They said little Boosie right now is crying. He doesn't want to go back behind the bars. You know. Most of them do not. They want to commit crimes and break the law. Well, not really break the law, but break the rules. They know they're doing it intentionally. But, I mean, I heard Lil Boosie, heard Lil Boosie say something, and I thought it was interested. interesting. He said the last case he beat, he said he was praying to Father God. I realize he talks about, he's a religious person. But he said if he got out, beat the case, he would just spread the words of the miracle of Father God and his blessings. But when he came out, he didn't do it. He didn't make a rap song about Father God, how great Father God is. He didn't do a two-hour live or a 20-minute live about the power of Father God, how beautiful his blessings are. He just said his word, his name, and for a second, just, I mean, I don't know, maybe, I don't know, maybe, I don't know, I'm, I don't know, I'm just talking. But it was so powerful when he said, you know what, I'm going to acknowledge Father God because he made it possible for me to beat these cases, beat these charges. And he did it over and over for me. But is there a cutoff point to where Father God will bless you or not? I don't know. But hopefully, Lord Boost will beat these brand new cases. I'm sure he will. He's spectacular. He's miraculous. Oh, goodness. He's unbelievable. He believes in Father God. So anything is possible. But. Hopefully he makes a song about Father God. Hopefully he makes a song about. Wants to commit crimes. Jail is where you're supposed to go. Or jail is where you're supposed to go. Or will go. I heard a little Boosie say one time, you know what? 
most of my fans are either dead or behind the bars right now. Real rap. He's talking about reality rap. Real life destruction, corruption. Unbelievable. They said that, you know what? He might have to do some time now. He's scared and nervous. I've, I've never seen a gangster before. Imagine Scarface watching that movie. He's like crying like a baby to go to jail. <laughs> I want to go to jail. I want to go to jail. <laughs> You trying to lock me up? You trying to do We trying to have the same cases again? <laughs> Unbelievable. Is gangster a real thing or is gangster just something you just call yourself? So you know what? I'm a gangster. I don't know, but. Crying because you need to probably go to jail. I don't think it's going to help. Just showing that when you go around the bars, you're going to cry too. When someone say, you know what? Do me a favor, dude. I don't want to get too much into it, but you know what I mean. He's showing a wee personality. Boosie badass. Unbelievable. But I see him do it though. Till next time, F Service TV. Tell a friend, tell a friend. So basically, Boosie Badass just a little mouse. Go out of his way to get in trouble. They want to start crying. He's nothing like Webby. Webby's not getting in trouble and crying like a little baby. Imagine that little boosie, badass baby.